GCI kids, I hope you are doing well. As always, my name is Jessie and I am back to host your Sunday morning service. So for those of you who don't know, or for those of you who do know, but have a really bad memory, this week we are in week four of our At The Beach series. You may have noticed that I've moved location and that's because I've got the waves behind me. So this week we are talking all about something that has three letters, S, P, F, otherwise known as sunscreen or sun cream. Now, I know that most of you will have had a parent or a carer or a family member cover you in loads of the sticky goop that you think smells disgusting and doesn't do anything, but actually sun cream is really good for helping prevent sunburn and other things that can come when you get sunburned. Now, as you might know, the whole entire point of this series is that we're teaching you different ways that you can use the Bible in your own life so that you won't be little toddlers in a paddling pool, but that you'll learn to be fully grown swimmers diving deep into the Word of God. Now, we have some very special people who are bringing us the object lesson and the message today, and you might hear them mention the word temptation. But what does temptation mean? Temptation, and I'm using my phone to look this up, temptation can be described as the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Now, have you ever been doing something and you wanted to do something else and somebody else has stepped in and said, no, don't do that, don't go there, it will only end badly, but you still really want to do it. That is a temptation, when you feel like you want to do something which isn't necessarily the greatest thing to do or isn't wise to do. In the same way that sun cream covers your skin, we want to be able to use the Word of God and the Bible and the Holy Spirit to cover us and to prepare and protect us from temptations. So, I'm going to stop talking now and head over to Evie. Can you tell me why we wear sunglasses or sun cream when we're out in the sun or at the beach? It's because we're trying to protect ourselves from the effects that the sun can have on us, like sunburn. Now, just like sunglasses and sun cream, we have the Bible to protect us from something called sin. Now, the Bible, it tells us what sin is, what to count as sin, what to do when we sin, and that Jesus is ready to forgive us when we do sin. When you go to the beach, you have to plan ahead to protect yourself, which is why you bring sunglasses and sun cream with you. And just like that, we need to plan ahead and protect ourselves um, from sin. And to do that, we read God's word and rely on him and he will never fail. Thank you, Evie. It is now time for our worship song of the week. So this very next song is going to pop up on the screen and I want you to especially make space in your room to maybe have a moment of worship, to sit down quietly, just listen to the lyrics of the song and think about how they can relate to your life, how they can relate to your journey with Jesus and your life with God. You can pray, you can sing, you can just read the words, it's up to you. But make sure you take this moment to worship God. Now we are on to the next part of the programme, which is the message. Yes, the message. Um, and bringing us the message today is Imogen. You saw her in Chris's object lesson last week, but you may not have seen her face for a bit, so I hope that you're paying attention, I hope that you're focused and you're ready to learn. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So today I'm going to be speaking to you about preparing yourself to not give in to sin, to not give in to temptation. Now, before we get into that, um, I had a question for you. Um, how many of you have ever had sunburn or had sunstroke or something like that? Now, if you have, you will know that it feels horrible. It looks horrible, especially when your sunburn starts to peel, when your skin starts to come off. It's just not nice. But actually, if we're smart, we'll know that there's things that we can do to stop ourselves getting sunburn or sunstroke. 
Sometimes you might wear sunscreen, you might wear a hat, you might wear cool clothes. If you know it's going to be really hot, you're going to carry water around with you so that you don't overheat. Because you know that there's things you can do to stop yourself ending up with sunburn or sunstroke because they're really horrible and nobody wants to have those. Now, that's the same for us when it comes to sin. We can actually stop ourselves from giving in to the temptation of sin by doing certain things. And in the Bible, it tells us how we can avoid giving in to sin. Now, temptation comes in many different forms. And I wonder if any of you guys have recently seen the temptation challenge that has been going around everywhere. You might have seen it on YouTube. You might have seen it on, you know, a cousin or a family member's social media. But if you haven't seen the temptation challenge, it's where a small child is put in front of some sweets or some chocolate, something really tasty. And the adult tells them not to eat it until they come back and then the adult leaves. But the child is secretly being filmed. Some of the children can hold off and they don't eat the food until the adult comes back. But some of them have a sneaky taste because they think no one's watching them and no one can see what they're doing. So here's going to be a quick clip if you haven't seen the temptation challenge yet. I'm going to go to the toilet in two seconds. You can have when I come back. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? I'm going to the toilet. Don't eat it. Don't eat it until I come back. Okay? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Good girl. Ace, be a good boy. Yes. No! No! Now from that clip, you'll be able to see that sometimes the children can avoid the temptation of eating the sweets, but sometimes they can't and the temptation's too much for them and they just eat the sweets, even though they've just been told, wait, then you can have the sweets. And sometimes that's what it's like for us as Christians. We know that we shouldn't be doing something, but sometimes it can be really hard not to do the exact thing we know that we shouldn't do. And actually, in 1 Corinthians, it talks about this a lot. It talks about temptation. Now, I'm about to read from 1 Corinthians 10, and I'm going to read verse 13. And this is actually what it says. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. Now, I don't know about you, but that verse is so encouraging because, first of all, it says that the temptations in my life aren't any different to the temptation in someone else's life. So I know that if I'm struggling with something, there's a good possibility that my friends are struggling with it too. And you know what? That's really encouraging because it means that you can help each other in different ways of how not to give in to temptation which I don't know about you, but that is really encouraging for me to hear. And it also goes on to say that God is faithful. That means that he's not going to leave us when things get difficult for us. And that is absolutely amazing. The verse also then goes on to say that God will give us a way out. It means that he will direct us and guide us when it comes to temptation. It means that we don't have to give in to the temptation of sin. And there's many times throughout the Bible, especially if you look in the Old Testament, of times where people have been tempted, they've wanted to give in to sin, they've wanted to do things that they know isn't right. And sometimes they give in and they make the wrong decision. But often you see opportunity for God to step in and for God to say, actually, things don't need to be this way. You can do things differently. Here's the way out. Are we going to choose to do what we know is wrong but might seem really fun or are we going to choose to do what we know is right but might seem a little bit harder now i'm encouraged because i know that in the bible it says that there is a way out and that god will be with us but it's very different when we have to put that into practice so i encourage you guys today 
have a little look at that verse. See what you think. Have a look at it. See what stands out to you. And maybe you can have a conversation with someone in your household today. Maybe it could be your parent. Maybe it could be a brother or sister. Maybe it could be a grandparent, whoever you've got around you. Maybe you are struggling a little bit with being rude. Maybe you're struggling a little bit with anger. Maybe you're just not being very respectful to the people around you. Whatever it is, know that actually we all struggle with these things sometimes. But it's okay because there's a way out and we don't need to struggle with it forever. How about today we make a new decision to not give in to temptation? Because we know that God has given us a way out. And that means that next time we face temptation, we don't have to give in to it. Because we're prepared now. We know we've got God on our side. Amen. Thank you, Imogen, for such a great message. I know I've taken something personally from the need to block ourselves from temptation that we just don't need to go through if we've got Jesus on our side. So I know that I'm going to be taking that into my week and remembering that every single day. Now, it is my favourite time of the week. I always say, now it is time for challenge time. Yes. This week's challenge, I want you to exercise. Yep. And I'm not talking about the exercise that you're probably thinking about. I want you to exercise the muscle of resisting temptation. It could be something as small as somebody has made some food and they've said to you, don't have some now, we can have it together later. And you have to sit there and go, but I really want it, I can smell it, I know it tastes great, but you need to resist temptation and learn a bit of self-control. So I would like you to challenge yourself in one area this week, one area where you can say, no, I know what the rules are, I know what's the wise thing to do, I know what's right, and I'm gonna resist temptation today. In the same way that we have to exercise our muscles to get stronger, resisting temptation isn't easy it's not like i've done it you have to keep doing it to get in the habit of doing it and then you'll find it easy and trust me when you grow up it will be such a good life skill to be able to have all right that is it for our entire service today i hope you have enjoyed it as much as i have enjoyed it and i will see you next week god bless have a lovely sunday